Spencer. I'm Spencer. And welcome back to another episode of the Spanx Cup. This is the fourth one, and today we have taken it outside of the house to the arcade. Yeah, I like arcades. Me too. We're going to play loads of different arcade games, standard procedure, different points up for grabs, winner takes the most points, etc. And obviously they'll go into the Spandex leaderboard. But before we start, we thought we'd do a quick recap of the leaderboard, show you where things stand so you can see who's winning. It's me. So as you can see, I've got 151 points. Alex has 127. She won the apps round, whereas I won the Mario Kart round and the crazy golf. But now it's a whole new ball game. It's the arcade people. And of course, as usual, we've got two high quality sports commentators involved to commentate the action for you. You're very welcome. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome to the Donbass Arena. I'm Bob Bobka here with my assistant Ali Baba. It's a big one today. It's the arcade special in the Spandex Cup. Round one, get as many balls in the hoop as possible in one minute. The winner will get 25 points. It's a ball game, folks. What do you think of this one, Ali? Oh, I'm really excited for this one because I think both of them are going to do a sterling job. Okay, excellent. So Spencer's starting here. You can see he's got the wrist hands of a young Winona rider. Now he has 53 seconds left on the clock. He's got to get as many balls through the hoop as possible. He gets two points per ball. I think in the last 10 seconds, it goes into some kind of special time and you get three points per hoop. And he's getting rhythm now. What would you say his technique is like? I'd say I'm really enjoying the bopping technique that he's got there. He's really bending his knees every time he needs to pop one over. Yes, it's all in the bending, it's all in the knees. So, so far we've got 42 points. Uh, the high score on this game, I should add, is 49 points. He's getting near a high score. I didn't think we'd see that today. I can confirm he's gone past the record score for this machine. And that's his last throw, the slow motion. That looks actually spectacular, like an Oscar winning. So we've got a film. 64 points, that's crazy. As you can see here, all the other machines do not have a score as high as 64. Spencer literally has the hands of Jesus. And now it's Alex's turn. She's pressed the start button and the balls have been released and she is off. Now it's all about wrist action this game. Obviously Alex has got a lot of experience in the wrists, mostly the right wrist I believe. Uh, she's quite good, I mean for a girl. <laughs> she's doing okay though. Obviously 64 is the score. It was 64 wasn't it Alibaba? Yes it was. Yes I thought so. 64 is the score to beat. We're coming up to the halfway stage now, the 30 second mark. She's got a score of 30. It is possible, especially with that 10 second time where the points are increased. She could be beating Spencer here. That would be a, a turn up for the books. I think you'll agree. How many time left? We've got 10 seconds left. 40 points. 49 points. It's getting very close. It's getting heated here. I don't think she's going to do it. No. The whistle has gone. It's all over. 58 points. A decent score, but not 64. That rhymed. I'm Bob Bobka. And as you can see, the scores for round one are 25 points for Spencer because he won and then zero points for Alex. Game number two is called the goal line rush. Aim of the game gets the high numbered balls into the touchdown area in three attempts. The higher the number, the more points. Winner gets 25 of them, baby. Okay, so here we are. The jackpot you can possibly get in one ball is 300 points, but I very much doubt. There you can see it's the gold ball, by the way. I very much doubt we're going to see anyone get that today. I mean, that would be what on earth has just happened in the Donbass arena. 300 points in the first go from Alex. Ali Barbar, can you describe the emotions here? I think it's a mixture of elation, yet surprise. I don't think they quite know what's going on. That's 305 tickets coming out right now. Tickets everywhere. There's children literally shitting themselves. I don't know what's happened. Look at the shock on her face. 305 points. That's incredible. I don't think Spencer's going to be able to cope with that. She's still got two more goes. That's very true. We'll have to see how she does in the second. Oh, and she's missed. She's got zero in the second attempt. And here she is on the third. Can she get anything? No, it's a zero again. I don't think she needs any more points, Alibaba. She's got the 300 jackpot. More tickets you know, than a bloody ticket inspector in, in cafe ticket world in bloody Ticket Express. Now, Spencer's got to compete with that. You saw how many tickets she had. How many tickets can Spencer get? It's his first go, and he's got five. That is an anti-climax if I've ever seen one. Still two more goes, Spencer. We believe in you. I'm Bob Bobka. Nothing on the second one, okay? Can he get the 300? Can he get the golden ticket, as they call it in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? And here we go. The golden ticket has been declined. No, it's a big, heavy defeat. Alex wins. Let's just do a comparison of the tickets. Here's Spencer. What's he got? Five. Oh, my God. Look at that. 
And after round two, Alex takes the 25 points with Spencer coming away with zero. It's neck and neck. Okay, and now we're going into round three, and it's the classic Pac-Man game. The aim of the game is to get Pac-Man to eat all of the dots without getting caught. Winner gets 25 points. Okay, there's Pac-Man. He looks happy. It's Ticket Mania. Tickets up for grabs. 1,000 is the jackpot, I believe. Here's Spencer. He's eating them. He's going. Look at the concentration on his young, beautiful face. He's going around, eating those little dots like there's no tomorrow. He's being chased by some weird, colourful creatures. They look like jellyfish, but also they look edible. I don't know what they are, but he's been caught. He's been eaten. I can confirm it's all over. He gets three tickets with a score of 1,110 points. He's not doing well. And now it is Alex's turn, and she's just kissed the pound. Good luck, because you do have to pay for these machines. They're not free. Okay, so she's doing the same technique, obviously trying to eat the little uh, ball thing. She likes eating balls, and she's being chased, but she's doing well. She's keeping the things at bay, which is more than I could say for Spencer did. She just avoided being eaten there. It was like a scene in Lord of the Rings being chased by a troll, and she evaded it, maybe hit him with a bow and arrow of some kind. I don't know. I haven't seen the film, but he's still being chased. She's evading it. She's almost eaten all of the dots here. I can't believe what I've seen, and I'm Bob Bobker. I've seen a lot, believe me. I saw a man die. Okay, Maze has been cleared. She's into the jackpot zone. This is much further than Spencer got. I think she secured herself the points two games in a row. She's got in there, people. It's Packpot. Everyone go crazy. Kiss each other. Get naked if you want. And look at her. She's absolutely elated. She's doing a celebratory dance because nobody can quite believe their eyes nor their ears. And the machine is going absolutely mental. Wow, it's true what they say. If you want tickets, go to the Donbass Arena. It's an embarrassing comparison once again for Spencer. He loses the second time in a row. 50 points overall for Alex so far today. Just 25 for Spencer. And now the final round. Round four. Aim of the game. Shoot the targets to get as many points as possible in 20 shots. Winner gets 25 points, baby. And we're here now at the final round, the shooting round. And as you can see, there are 20 shots remaining for Alex. She will be starting because she won the last round. And there she picks up the gun with such ease. She's done this before. I can just tell. Yes, she's used to having something long, thing and um, powerful in her hands, that's for sure. And she's using it. Watch it. Now, if you're not familiar with the art of shooting, what it literally involves is aiming at something pulling a trigger and then trying to hit that something with what's being propelled from the something. Would you say that's fair? I would say that's an accurate description, yes. Okay, so she's doing that. You can see she's looking down the barrel of the gun, as they call it in the industry. She's trying to hit the target. Each time she does, she gets more points and she gets even more tickets. She's got enough tickets to open a small ticket shop. Maybe on, I don't know, the King's Road, she could sell tickets for... What, 50? What's the going rate for tickets? 50p per ticket? Uh, I was going to say £50 on the King's Road. Uh, inflation, I suppose, with inflation in the area would be more expensive than I don't know what we're talking about anymore, Alibaba. Back to the shooting now. So Alex did okay. She got a decent score. Can Spencer compete? He's looking pretty good so far. He's hitting targets left, right and centre, I have to say. He looks quite at home with a gun in his hand, wouldn't you say? Um, I would say he's used a gun multiple times, and every time he does shoot a target, it does light up and flashes lights, and that's to let you know that it has been hit properly. I think if you shoot some of the special targets, they do things for you, like watch this one, watch it, wait for it, there's the bow tie, everyone's happy, everyone's having a good time at the fairground, wouldn't they say? Listen... Spencer is very good at shooting. It's clear he doesn't miss a single shot. He could be a sniper in the army. He could be a bow and arrow man, maybe also in Lord of the Rings. I'm out. It's on my mind at the moment. I do need to see the film. It's all over there. It's basically been a very impressive performance from young Spencer. He's, he's definitely got a future in shooting or gunnery, as they call it. Uh, I think he could go far. Maybe we'll see him in a future Olympics. Consummate professional. He could shoot his load any day of the week on my face. There it is. 210 points. That's, I, don't, I can't confirm it's a record, but I think we're safe to say it's a world record. Look at the tickets. He's happy now. That gives him 25 points, which pulls it back, makes it a draw. 50 points each. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. And there we can see the Spandex Cup leaderboard after the four rounds currently stands at 201 points for Spencer and 177 points for Alex. It's just a crying shame. And after all the excitement of today's event, Spencer and Alex, being the philanthropists they are, decided to give their tickets to a couple of local orphans. It's like you see in the um, in the film, they say, you've got to give a ticket or two. You've got to give a ticket or two. I'm Bob Bob Cup. And I'm Ali Baba. But I'm Bob Bob Cup. Wow, we woo wow. That was some action packed arcade mayhem. And it was a draw. A complete and utter draw. Are you? We both won two games each. That's crazy. No one saw that coming. I mean, that was. 
Basically, it means that obviously I'm still in the lead. There's still a 25, 24, 24 point gap. I did the maths in my head. I, I that was very one. quick. I know, I did it all right. I still haven't caught up in it's my 24. head. It's 24, okay. it's 24. There's a 24 point gap, loads to play for, loads more games coming. If you've got a suggestion of what you'd like to see us do next on the Spandex Cup, leave a comment below. We're open to anything, you know? We're open to ideas. Anything that is interesting. Legal and just not bad for our health, we'll do it. Maybe if it's bad, no, we won't do it if it's bad no, for our health. It's not. Definitely not. I mean, you can't it. take any more hits to I'm the already, face. A, like, I'm wounded. I'm wounded. Medic! Thanks very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop it a like, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. Bye, friends. Don't go changing.